Hello, I'd like today to talk about three-dimensional printing technologies in orthopedics um, and illustrate the technology through the use of such applications that we offer in our service. Three-dimensional printing technology has been available for complex orthopedic problems for a while now. It is especially suited for customization in hip implants, in difficult uh, situations of hip replacement and revisions around the hip. Um, they are useful for straightening out bones in the form of osteotomies. Um, they are useful in tumor surgery where we can program the patient's tumor into uh, imaging software and use that to design jigs that allow us to make um, the cuts around tumors, especially in the pelvis. And with the resultant defects, the uh, technology allows us to print out um, perfectly matched implants that allow us to fill these defects and provide for artificial joint replacements. This is an example, for example, of a hip that was designed using three-dimensional printing technology. This technology should be quite familiar uh, in this example, a very complex three-dimensional structure is being formed by the sequential layering of material until it forms a three-dimensional structure. Uh, this video is from the Materialize um, data bank that offers such services. Let's talk a little bit about the application of um, this technology in a traumatic case um, that required reconstruction of the humerus. So this was a uh, comminuted fracture of the proximal humerus. It's completely broken up and this would be severely shattered and therefore be a poor candidate for surgery. You can see how in this animation or reconstruction in a three-dimensional space, this kind of fracture would do very poorly with a fixation using a plate because essentially um, it would have the screws would have no purchase. This patient was therefore allowed to unite and consolidate and subsequently the patient um, uh, scanned into the um, uh, CT scanner and this data was then fed into the um, three-dimensional uh, software which superimposed the patient's other humerus seen here in blue so th and reflected it uh, like a mirror image so you had left to right and therefore we were able to match what was normal onto what had now become uh, pathological. By then matching we would be able to next design the, the osteotomy jigs which would be able to align the patient into the normal state and these jigs would then be used to design um, the cut that needs to be done and here we see in the virtual space the correction of the humerus following the osteotomy and it can even plan where the plate is meant to go the jig for a similar case is shown here Essentially, on the right, you have the uh, patient's actual femur in a different case that has been printed in three dimensions, and then the cutting jig. The cutting jig, because of this three-dimensional configuration, can only fit in one way, and it even tells you, it even tells you where to put the screws. And so this would be the final product where the, the plate is put in place with all the screws secured in place. In a very similar application, it is also used in musculoskeletal oncology. You have a patient here who has a tumor in the anterior part of the pelvis, and these areas in red would be the desired areas to be removed in a resection. These white areas here are the uh, proposed three-dimensional printed jig, which is then used to cut it out, and then the three-dimensionally printed defect um, is filled in with a three-dimensional printed prosthesis and this is the front and the back. 
uh, that looks fine in uh, theory let's see how it looks like um, in so in real life that is an actual printed out prosthesis you notice how there are three different textures here there's trabecular metal which allows the bone to grow into this area this is smooth and shiny so that the tissues do not stick to this area and this area is rough and so when you when you glue an implant into that area it stays in place and this is the um, implant in its def in a modeled um, uh, host bone and this jig here will actually tell you how far to drill into the bone and this is the x-ray of a case uh, that was done with the implants in place so this is just a quick um, overview of 3d printing in um, orthopedics in three typical applications of trauma tumors and joint replacement surgery uh, for more information please go to the World Wide Web LimbSalvageSurgery.com or email us at info at Thank you very much for watching.